Hi, this is Avi from Scrappy Mania, and today I'm just going to create a layout. I already created my background page, which is this one. I used this big stamp from um, Stapendius. So it was one of these big stamps that I purchased some time ago. Um, I got it at cl in clearance from Michaels. Or actually, this was from Joanne's. So I got a bunch of those stamps. And so I used the butterfly and then this other stamp, which I took out of its package. This is one of the first ones I purchased. So I don't know what kind of flower this is, but I used this stamp and then I stamped this one this way and then this one this way. And then I stamped some off. So those were my two main flowers and then I just stamped them off the page to create this kind of L shape. And then I filled in the gap with the swirl. So I went ahead and used that swirl and I fill in the gaps um, with the swirl. And then for this here, you know, I, I took some extra wax paper. So I stamp it first there and then I took this wax paper and stamped the other side of the swirl there to create this unique swirl here. Okay, so I used that, and then I used my watercolor pen, um, watercolor um, paint, and these are some that I got from my daughter. I bought her a watercolor set, and actually, it was one of those art set from Costco that came with not only watercolor, it came with acrylics, it came with oil, and also pastels. She was not using it, so I just took them, and I'm using them for my scrapbooks. So they come with a lot of little tubes like this. So I used that. And then what I did is once I stamped it, I, yeah, I of course I used stays on because you're going to need something that's not going to bleed. So once I stamped it, then as you can see here, I just put the darker color. It's the same color for the whole flower, but I put the darker color on the bottom. And then I took a wet paint brush and then I paint it up. I um, pulled the color up to the rest of the flower. So um, I did that and then of course I kind of, some of the leaves, I pretend they were like greenerage, like they were um, leaves. And actually those are petals from the flower, but then I just cut the bottom part to pretend they were um, actually leaves. And I used some glitter paint. This glitter paint is from Folk Art Extreme Glitter. So I used that for some of the swirls, as you can see there. And then I took, for this effect here, what I did is I took my paintbrush. And of course, I used one of these new, um, I, I went ahead and got me a good um, paintbrush. This is one of those watercolor or rounded paintbrushes. Um, so I took this paintbrush, I dipped it in black watercolor, and then I just splattered it around like so. And that's what made all those kind of um, dots that you see there, the, those water splashes. So after I did that, um, I went ahead and used my butterfly stamp, as you can, this one. And I used a small butterfly. And I took another piece of paper and I just stamped it with stays on and used my watercolors to paint over it. And then I used nail polish, glitter nail polish, to create that kind of sparkle. And then in the middle, the body is actually the same folk art paint. So this is nail polish and then paint in the middle. So I'm going to be using that to scatter, scatter it around. And then I'm going to be using some just regular black cardstock to kind of mat it. And this, by the way, measures, let's see. Eleven and a half by eleven and a half. So this is eleven and a half by eleven and a half. And then this is an old paper that I used a long time ago. So I'm going to use some of this 
to kind of mat my black piece of cardstock and place this on this page right there. And this measures four and a half by six and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna place everything on my page and I hope you like the the end the the final product. So now I'm using some real um, strong adhesive to lay this piece down on my black cardstock because when you use watercolor, your paper tends to get um, kind of wrinkly. So that way it'll lay flat if you put some strong adhesive. And then here I'm also using strong adhesive because that paper, that chevron paper, I handmade and it has a lot of embossing powder. I mean, a lot of embossing and texture, so you really need to make sure it adheres well. And then I decided to put some lace on the side because it's very heavy on the left-hand side with all those flowers. So I wanted to balance out the page so it doesn't look like it's leaning towards one side with a little bit of, with a little element, a little lace, so that way it looks more balanced. And then also to help balance the layout, I also want to put a saying, a phrase. You are one of my favorite memories from Heidi Swap, right there on the top right. And the butterfly also helps balance the page by putting two on the lower left and then just one on top on the right top. Then um, I kind of needed something for underneath the photo, so I decided to use this stamp that says Capture the Memories, but I did not want all that stamp, just the one that says Capture the Memories and I placed that underneath my photo mat. So I'm using some foam adhesive and I'm almost done. So there you have it. So this is my final layout. So I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching. Bye now.